The Berry Fire in Grand Teton National Park has gone down as the largest wildfire in the history of the park. Eyewitness News reporter Taja Davis took a tour of the scorched area. The biggest fire in the history of the Grand Teton National Park burned more than 20,000 acres. The Berry Fire started back in July, and 68 days later, it is still burning. Having these additional acres burned this year just adds overall to the ecosystem resilience that we hope to see in future years. So it'll restart the cycle of the, the forest regeneration. Uh, we'll see younger trees in starting next year, lots of forbs and wildflowers, and a whole host of species that come in immediately post fire that you don't see in an older forest stand. The work of the people who fought fires from previous years is the reason for the success of keeping the Berry Fire at bay this year. Well, when a fire burns into an area that has already been burned in the past, then the fuel is different, and therefore the fire behavior is a little bit different. And the more recent the fire is, the more likely the fire is to slow down and sometimes even stop when it comes into a burned area. The success is also credited toward the area being such a fire adapted community. Metal roofs, uh, no firewood piled up against them, green grass up to the foundation, as well as just having a, a planned response in the case of fire coming in. In Grand Teton National Park, I'm Taja Davis.